some of you, retirement feels like it's a million years away and you don't have to worry about it at all. But for others, you're like, oh my gosh, it's going to be here before I know it. Well, we're going to help you overcome some of those fears you have. Dave Sant with Cypress Credit Union is here for us. Dave, every couple of weeks, you're helping us out financially. And this one is a big one that stresses people out. Yeah, you know, a lot of people have a lot of worries when it comes to retirement, but we're here to do whatever we can to take that stress out of it. Okay, let's talk about the first one. I think the biggest one, everyone's fearful they're going to run out of money. Yeah, you know, this is probably the number one fear most people have. It's really hard to know exactly, you know, how much you should plan or how much you should set. We just don't know what's going to happen in retirement. Um, you might plan for a certain amount of years and you're going to live even longer. So what do you do to make sure you have enough money? Well, the first thing is, is this something we talk about all the time, right? It's budgeting. Uh, making sure you're getting good budgeting uh, practice in now that you develop good budgeting skills and good budgeting habits. That's going to really help you when you get into fixed income in retirement. The other thing that might be beneficial here is to reach out to um, different or different uh, investment companies, right? They can yeah. really help you yeah. to know what you're going to need, help you make plans that are going to work out for you. And there's a lot of retirement calculators out there as well. Then you're able to put in how much you think you're going to need each year, how much you're going to want each year, and then it'll help you see whether or not you're on track and how much more you need to put in to make sure that you have enough money to last you throughout your retirement. Dave, for my 30th birthday present to myself, I started financially planning for retirement and I put a big lump sum of money in. So, you know, I'm... I'm I'm Wonderful trying. birthday present. I know. I bought myself a purse too. Don't worry. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one, stock market crash. That that could be scary too. Yeah, you know, a lot of times our 401ks, in fact, most of our 401ks are in the stock market. And they can be very a very variable environment, right? Where you're seeing it go up, you're seeing it go down. And that can be kind of worrisome for should you be pulling your money out? How should you be managing that? Well, the first thing you need to remember is just because the stock market goes down in value, you haven't lost any money. You mm -hmm. only lose money if you pull your money out. If it stays there and it goes back up, all that money's back there. Yes. Um, so you want to make sure you're being patient. You also want to make sure that you're being you're playing an active role in your retirement. So a lot of times uh, the financial experts will say you want to have more of a you know, risky investment strategy early on, because that's going to give you higher yields. Mm -hmm. But as you get closer to retirement, you want to take that, reel that in and get a little more conservative with your approach, get things that may give more of like a guaranteed yield versus a variable yield that you're going to get with some of the riskier stocks. Um, so you want to make sure you're playing that active role. Also take some time to talk to your employer and your 401k experts. A lot of the 401k uh, companies out there that who are offering or retirement companies who are offering 401ks, they have estimated date um, plans where you go in and say, I want to retire on this date, and then it will automatically adjust your investing strategy to match the risk level you should have based on how many years you have till retirement. And last but not least, before we wrap up, if what if you have too much debt? Yeah, you know, that can be a big worry people have going into retirement. Nobody wants to go into retirement still owing a lot on different, you know, their home, cars, any of those things. So this is an area where preparation is key, right? Do everything you can ahead of time to build that plan. Build a plan to get rid of most of, if not all of your debt before you retire, right? This includes your mortgage, auto loans, any outstanding medical bills. Sit down, write out what they are, come up with a plan to pay those off, and make sure you get those paid off as much as you can before retirement, because that's going to just help take care of a lot of that stress, not having to take those bills in with you when you're on that fixed income. You're always helpful, Dave. If they want more info to read up on this, where can they go? Uh, CypressU.com. we got tons of great tips and blog articles to help you there. Cool. See you in a couple weeks. Hey, we'll see you later.